got a lush delivery today and I am very, very excited because it's a big old box. <laughs> so in this box of wonderfulness, there is a few of the regular line products and there's a few kitchen products in here as well. I'm very excited. I stocked up on bubble bars and stuff. So yeah, let's get this box open. I'm so excited. Scissors are needed in this situation. I haven't had a big box like this in so long. I've been getting little teeny boxes because I haven't been able to afford anything, but now I've bought in bulk. <laughs> Paperwork. I've got given some samples. I'll go through those in the end. So, these Polaroids. This one is a Green Party Bath Bomb Polaroid and the in the nude bath oil mm. this box smells glorious the first two things i picked up was the creamy candy bubble bars these are just really really handy to have they're not overly expensive i think they're about 2.95 and they make really great bubbles and they have a very sweet scent it is the snow fairy scent and the snow fairy scent is what you can get at christmas time so it's this lovely sweet bubble gum scent but yes i grabbed two of those I also picked up the Grass Bubble Bar. It's part of the Oxford exclusive range. Uh, so um, you can only get this on Oxford Street and obviously online. Um, and it shares the grass scent. It's just this lovely earthy sweet scent. It's beautiful. I love this bubble bar. And this one's got luster on it. Ooh, I didn't think it had luster on it. Yeah, I picked up one of those. I also picked up the Big Bang Bubble Bar. Um, this is another great one, which is from the regular line. It has a lovely sweet lemon scent, kind of like a candy sweet. Um, yeah, it makes really good bubbles. It's really nice and it turns your water into this beautiful blue color. It's just great to go with any other lemon products. It's amazing. I also picked up a bath oil or bath mouth. And this is the Cloak of Invisibility. I love this bath um, oil. It has a gorgeous scent and it's, it's a pretty colour. I love the coral orangey colour with the gold. It's amazing. Um, I just found when I used it, it really moisturised my skin. So yeah, I picked up one of those. Ooh. I also picked up Milky Bath Soap. I love the Milky Bar, um, the Milky Bath Bubble Bar. I absolutely love that bubble bar. I love the scent. I love the cotton, fresh cotton scent. It's just really beautiful. I only just realised that they do it in a soap version, so I had to pick it up. And it's the same design. It looks like a little milk bottle, which is really, really cute. Uh, yeah, so I picked up one of those. I got some of the bubble bars as well. They're in here somewhere. <laughs> So this one is from the kitchen and this is uh, in the nude bath melt. It says, simply drop into the bath and indulge your skin in cocoa butter and chamomile infused waters. Take a little extra time to appreciate everything that makes you unique. Ah, oh, that's so nice. So in here it contains fair trade organic cocoa butter, almond oil, there's rose absolute, uh, there's chamomile blue oil, which is really relaxing. Um, but yeah, let's give it a... Mm, that smells really nice. I'm excited to try this. I don't, I've got so many bath oils and I haven't had the chance to use them. So I definitely need to start using up my bath oils. Next is my faithful good old pop in the bath. It's my go-to as you are aware. I always pick this up. Um, if I need some, I think there'd be something wrong with me <laughs> if I didn't get a pop in the bath in my delivery. So... I love this bubble bar. Let's dig deep. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> oh, so this is the yellow submarine bath bomb. So this bath bomb you can buy in stores now, which is really, really exciting. It has this very tropical, coconutty, pina colada scent. Everyone's been ranting and raving about it, so I'm very excited to try this. What's next? Aha, so... Uh, the next product I picked up is a fresh facial cleanser. Um, I am a massive fan of Let the Good Times Roll, but I am running out of it now. Um, I think I've only got a couple of uses out of it left. So I thought I'd pick up a fresh one. For some reason, Let the Good Times Roll 
wasn't available so I picked up Aquamarina um, apparently this is really really good um, I've heard good things about it um, I love the fresh cleansers I just love how they make my skin feel because they also exfoliate at the same time and I do suffer with dry skin so yeah I'm very excited oh that looks weird I'm guessing that's seaweed <laughs> oh wow yes <laughs> The smell is interesting. So in here it contains Irish Moss Gel, Fair Trade Organic Aloe Vera, uh, Nori Seaweed, Sweet Wild, or Sweet Wild Orange Oil, Patchouli Oil. Yeah, I've heard good things about this, so I'm gonna give it a go. It smells a little bit funky, but <laughs> as long as it makes my skin look amazing, that's all I care about. Next is, oh, it's missing all this orange. That's a bit odd. This is the Karma blah blah blah. I love the Karma scent. It's absolutely amazing. Um, this makes amazing bubbles and it turns your water into this beautiful deep purple colour. There's a little bit of luster and there is meant to be an orange rim but mine seems to be missing but that's fine. As long as it does its job that's all that matters. I love this bubble bar. I love the Karma scent. The Karma scent is so fresh and I don't know. I just love it. It's amazing. Mm. Oh, mm. wow. <laughs> the next thing I picked up was the Sunny Side Bubble Bar, and I've never tried this before. I always pick it up in store because obviously, look at it, it's so beautiful, lots of gold shimmer, and it's always um, talked about. Everybody loves this bubble bar, and I've never tried it before, so I thought I'm gonna give it a go and see how I get on with it. It has this orangey scent, it's really, really nice actually. I don't know why I've never tried this. Um, I think I'm gonna do this alongside a cocktail with like orangey, fresh, fruity scents. I think that'd be absolutely amazing. But yeah, I picked up one of those. There's one. <laughs> There's two. So I picked up two of the Milky Bath Bubble Bars. I love these bubble bars. Alongside Pop in the Bath, these are my go-to. They don't have much colour, which is great because I find that um, if I want to use a bath bomb, I don't want the bubble bar like colour to affect my bath bomb colour. Sometimes it mixes really well but sometimes it doesn't. So having these is really really handy because it doesn't change your water in your bath. It might turn into like a milky sort of uh, a colour but um, it's not too dark or too light or anything. It adds a little bit of shimmer and it's a nice fresh scent so it goes with everything to be honest. It goes with every single product um, that you can get. Um, it's a lovely, lovely bubble bar and the bubbles it makes is absolutely incredible. So yeah, I picked up two of those because I just couldn't resist and I dropped the box and all the peanuts have gone everywhere. So the last two things I picked up were these. So this is the Green Party Bath Bomb. Um, I just saw that they were available in the kitchen and they look quite cool so I thought I'd pick up a couple to see what they're like. I've never tried them before. Um, so these were made by Sam. It has um, bergamot in it, ylang ylang, uh, jalbanium oil, I don't know if I've said that right, I never say anything right. I always get comments saying, you said that wrong jazz I'm like I'm sorry <laughs> I'm not the most intelligent person in the world but yes I love ylang ylang I love anything floral so let's give it a smell that smells really nice I'm so excited let's open one up why not let's open one up here we go so it looks like it's got confetti inside of it which is going to be awesome it's going to put on a hell of a show I reckon yeah I'm super excited that smells really nice. You can pick up the bergamot. It's kind of floral, but a little bit smoky. Um, so it's definitely not like a sweet floral. It's, um, I don't know, it's earthy, I guess. But yeah, that's really nice. I'm very excited to give these a go. Let's see what samples they sent me. Oh, cold face facial soap which does not smell good, but it's meant to be really good for your face. Um, I've already got a sample of this, but it's always good to have a couple of samples so you can try it and try it again. <laughs> uh, I've got some orange fun. Oh, very nice, very nice. I've got Handy Guru Goo hand cream. Ooh. 
I've got Dirty Spring Wash Shower Gel. I'm quite pleased about that because I haven't tried the shower gel. I'm not a massive fan of mint products. So yeah, I'm excited to, to actually try that. So I was thinking about purchasing Dirty Spring Wash. And then I've got Aromaco. This is a, a deodorant apparently. Mm, yeah, um, I really appreciate Lush sending me samples, so thank you very much. I always love to give different sorts of products a go, so I'm very excited. Thank you. That is it for this video of this Lush unboxing haul. It feels good to be back <laughs> spending all my money on Lush. The thing that I'm most excited to try is the Green Party uh, bath bomb. I'm really excited to see what this is like. I'm sure this is going to go so nice with other earthy products, floral products. And also I'm very happy that I've got the Milky Bath Soap. It smells delightful. <laughs> the thing I'm not overly keen on is the Aquamarina. I'm definitely going to give it a go, but it smells a bit weird <laughs> i ain't gonna lie but yeah i'm excited to give it a go i was used to using um little good ties roll this lovely popcorn sweet scent so yeah it's definitely the complete opposite of that <laughs> if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you like to see more content like this as i say in every single video if you're interested i have an instagram account you can find me by searching jazz love slash or i will leave a link in the description box down below thank you so much for watching and i shall see you soon bye <laughs>